In this video, I'm going to have a look at how I textured the cork board for the corridor scene. This is going to be the last actual texturing, modeling slash texturing video in the series. And in the next video, I'm going to show you the final renders and sort of sum things up. So this is quite straightforward. The modeling, of course, was very easy. And if I come in here, you can see where I put some seams. I split it there and in the four corners. Okay, and on the inside, and having a seam here helps me in Substance Painter, all right, to sort of delineate where I want certain materials. I'm going to want a frame material in wood, and I'm going to have the cork material, which I'm going to make. The frame is going to be a smart material, and the cork is going to be something that we make. Okay, so I'm just going to export that as an FBX and bring it into Substance Painter. Here it is in Substance Painter, and you can see it's just one material one texture set so what I need to do is bake the mesh maps I will do that at 2k I will uncheck ID and thickness leave everything else the same and we'll just go ahead and bake and it's pretty quick and pretty straightforward to uh, to do that all right so we are ready to go and uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a folder and I'm going to call this frame and in here I'm going to find a smart material now I'm going to search for wood and um, some of these are bought smart materials and I often will go to over to ArtStation that's where I like to get them and uh, just you know you can find a pack of wood smart materials for a couple of dollars and then you can tweak them to your heart's content uh, you can sometimes look at them and try to figure out how they were made this one here this particle board I'm going to use that so I'm going to drag that in there and that gives me a nice effect, but I don't want it on everything. So I'm going to add a black mask to that. And I'm going to, let's see here. Let's go over here. And we'll just, uh, we'll just fill the whole thing for now. That's probably fine. Actually, I can press X, come to my UV chunk, and I can take it off there. So that's all I really need to do. I've done enough texturing and that's gonna look just fine. The main goal is to create the cork material. All right, so there's our frame. So I'm gonna create another folder and I'll call that one cork or cork board or whatever. Okay, now for this one, it's gonna take us three fill layers to do this. So I'm gonna add one fill layer. I'm gonna drag it under here and uh, we are going to put a black mask on here and I want to make sure that I just select just this this area here that we're going to be working on all right so let's grab this fill layer and let's work on this now I have some values that I want to use for my base color that's the main thing that I'm going to have to focus on and it's a little laborious doing this but just bear with me uh, as I as I go through this so I'm gonna put a value you can skip through this if you want I'm gonna go seven nine six there and we're gonna go three seven one and then we'll make sure that the mask is actually on the right place three seven one because I can tell that it's not right now and two one seven and then for HSV let's come back here I'm going to go 447277796. That's good. That's good enough. All right. So let's, uh, with that done, let's, um, let's, uh, let's see. We'll go to the black mask again and let's just put that in there. Okay. So we have that material going into that spot from that fill layer. Okay. And that's all I need for that. I don't even really need to name them. All right. So I'm going to add another fill above that. And we're going to do a similar kind of a thing. Actually, let's just make sure on this one. I'm going to change the roughness here. I'm going to go for 0.7 for the roughness. All right. And you didn't see much of a change because this one is blocking it. So on this one, we're going to come in and we're going to make some changes to the base color as well. For the red, we're going to use 0.324. Point one eight zero point one eight and zero point one two nine. 
All right, so we get a, we're getting a slightly different color here. Let's just do a little bit on here. This one I'm going to change. It's going to be 058, 06, that's close enough, and 0 0.3, 0 0.3, maybe 4. All right, so that's good. So we got that. And I'm going to add, put a roughness of about a 0 0.88 on that one. And I'm going to add a little bit of height to this, and you won't see anything yet. It'll be 0 0.09. Uh, it won't really uh, cause any effects until we add a black mask and a fill. And in the grayscale of the fill, I'm going to use Gaussian noise. This first one here, Gaussian noise. Now we start to see something. All right, and the first thing we're going to do is up here in the scale. We're going to change the scale to 6. So you can see the dots are a lot smaller now. And we'll put a balance of 0 0.73. And a contrast of, let's see, 0.65. Okay, cool. And then we're going to come down to the noise parameters. And it's at 32. I'm going to slide it all the way up, and that's going to bring it to 64. Okay, so far so good. Uh, yeah, that's all good. Now, the next thing we need to do is above that Gaussian noise, I'm going to add a filter, and it's going to be a blur slope. We'll add that. We're going to switch the blending mode to min. I'm going to put the intensity at 0 0.68, so 0.68, and the intensity divider I'm going to actually leave on 10 and then bring the quality down, 0.18, all right, and that does that. Okay, I think that's all I need on the blur slope, and then what I like to do is on top of that add another filter, and that's a sharpen filter. Scroll down to here, sharpen, and I'm going to put a, an intensity here of 4. So we have this effect now, and there's a little bit of height on uh, on this layer. I'm basically going to do this, the same thing for the last layer. All right, so I can take this, and I can actually uh, duplicate this layer and just come in. we got to do the color again. We'll have, a, we'll have three different colors. All right, so for this one, I'm going to go for... 0.36 or 361 and then over here 0 0.149 149 and here uh, 0 0.034 0 0.034 so that's a slightly different color now and let's see how we're doing on this 0 0.59 is okay 9 is okay Three, six, one. Okay, those ones are fine. And for this one, I want a roughness again, 0 0.88. And uh, I don't necessarily need any height on this one. We put that at zero. We can see what that's like so that we have a little bit of different height here and there. All right, so we've got that main thing. And now we're going to do what we did before. Uh, we have Gaussian noise. And I'm just going to make some changes to this one. Instead of six, I'm going to use three. You can see there's already a change. And let's change the balance to 0 0.6. So 0 0.6 for our balance. And for the contrast, 0.5. All right. It's already looking like cork in, in my mind. Uh, the noise we're going to keep at 64. And uh, we'll come up here. And we have a blur slope. And I think I can leave those two things the same. And that is essentially the cork. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's not bad. And if you want to, you could add a, maybe a little bit of height here. Um, I could try, let's say, 0 0.05 just to do something. All right, and that is it. I'm not going to zoom too, too close, but that's basically what it looks like. Uh, and that's that's it, really. All right, so you, you, then you, you take that. You give it a name and you export it. You bring it into your scene like we've done with all the other ones. And uh, in the next video, I'll show you what this looks like. And we'll have a look at some renders as we wrap up the corridor scene. So hopefully that, you know, is, is useful to you. You could use something like this. You can tweak the colors. You could use that for the, the, uh, the cork, a cork in a bottle. 
for any other thing that maybe needs a, a cork-like material. All right, because I didn't really see any videos uh, online showing how to make a cork material, so I figured this out um, and thought it would uh, be helpful to have at least a base, and maybe you can, uh, I'm sure you could improve on this. You could add more layers and put some black spots and some some dirt and stuff like that on there. Uh, in fact, if we wanted to put dirt at the top, let's just have a look at what that would look like for us. If I just use color and roughness and drag the roughness all the way up, just like I always do, bring that up and go for a sort of a dark color like that. And let's, let's just try a generator and see if this is useful to us. Something like that. You can get a little bit of dirt in the corners, almost like ambient occlusion. All right, so we will see you in the final video of the series. Thanks so much for tuning in. Hope you come back for the finale. See you next time.